Hey everyone, my name is Vinay and you're watching Smart. Today in this particular video, I'm going to talk about Monolo technologies. So you can expect how to apply, how to prepare and the company review as well as my interview experience with the company. So you all are going to know everything about this company. And as a suggestion, I have a small thing to say. Uh, if you're looking for data or stuff like off-campus recruitments, company reviews, free courses and certifications, scholarships and what not. Everything out there that you really need. If you are looking for this kind of data, I am going to provide most of the data that is relevant to you. So I recommend you to subscribe and hit that bell icon to never miss an update. Shall we begin? Yes. Yeah. So Mount Blue Technologies, how did I apply? So you know I make videos, you can check it out, that video is still available. There is a link in the description box below. You can apply for this company 24 by 7 yes you heard me right you can apply for this company at any point of time there is no restriction so if you apply apply for this company uh, whenever they are going to hire you like whenever they're going to hire a batch basically they will be hiring a batch in every three months so in every three months there will be a batch hired they will be training them and they will be deploying it to some companies their clients okay so this is a very good company and the role is full stack developer so how to apply is simple i have provided the link in the description as well as in the i button above you can just click on that and you can go to that video check the description and click on that link and click apply that's how you will be applying for this wonderful company now let us talk about the recruitment process of this company so for me uh, it was basically many there were a lot of rounds for me uh, the rounds number of rounds will be depending on the number of applications so when i applied there were a lot of applications like so for that reason, they have conducted about four rounds for us, but now they have reduced it to two rounds. Okay. Now there the single round. There is a single round uh, which is uh, direct. You will be giving two questions on hacker rank. You should complete those two questions, and when you are uh, completing that questions, like when you are giving the assessment, you are required to open your Zoom uh, video. Like you have to on a meeting with like you need to create a Zoom meeting. Once it's Zoom meeting, and you have to record that screen and everything. Once you record it, you have to send that video along with your assessment. Your assessment will be definitely sent by HackerRank. By the way, the video that you are recorded using Zoom should also be sent to that email address. They will be giving you your email address. You should set the video to that address once you complete the assessment successfully. Now, apart from that, uh, there will be another round which is uh, basically a HR uh, question and managerial line question. So in this round, they will be asking very simple questions. Uh, the questions like tell me about yourself tell me about your uh, family background and do you know javascript do you know python are you interested to work on java do you know java like do you know html and css simple kind of questions so what do you know about the company this is one interesting question that determines your selection yes i do say this how do say what do you know about this company is one thing that must be answered in a proper way and they will also ask you the questions like why do you want to become a software engineer and you should be able to tell a correct answer that should be impressive so be honest as much as possible your honesty is your key to crack any interview yes i personally observe this i always used to be honest in every interview so that's how i get a lot of chances like so far i was not rejected in any interview till now uh, because it might be because of your honesty and your answers and how you speak and all so that determines and then that is the key thing okay keeping apart now let us see uh, how is this interview be conducted like now this hr round is not conducted like a face to face face to face round it is like a video recorded system you will be given a website and you need to go on to that website there will be questions asking on the video like you'll be getting a question one by one and you need to answer that while you are answering you need to record it and you need to send that video to them so that recording is not done through your gallery like, like through your app uh, it will be done through your camera but not those those videos will not be stored into your uh, like gallery so you need to record and you need to send record and send that's simple you can record as many times as you want and you can send the response but i took only one attempt to, to answer all the questions in a one time like like uh, if to be precise uh, like if you had started a question and if i wanted to redo some question in other point of time i did not redo that question at that time what did i was what i did was I went back to all the questions at the beginning and I started giving answers in all that. So in this sequence, I have completed all the answers in one attempt. So that is what I did. 
uh, it is not recommended or uh, you can go as you like that all about yourself and that is all your perception how do you think and how you wanted to do that is left to you now that is about recording videos and sending answers that is simple so be honest and tell uh, what do you know about the company because i'll be telling at the end however uh, now talking about uh, uh, talking about this recruitment process uh, like my interview experience with this company uh, the interview experience was simple i just opened it and i answered it and everything uh, if you think uh, you, you if you need the video that i was recorded to in order to send them like the zoom video you can post a comment in the comment section below so that i will upload my video which is zoom it is still on my drive i will upload it for your sake so there were only two questions uh, which are basically simple for me at least and i was able to solve them and there were questions like uh, all the test cases were passed and then i uh, submitted the test they gave me 3 hours to complete two questions uh, i was able to do them in one and a half hour both the questions uh, it's it is not usually like uh, it is it will take about 40 minutes if you do it by yourself without explanation you actually need to explain the answer when before you code and after you code that is important then this for that it will take some time uh, if not uh, 40 minutes is a uh, lot more more than enough for this interview that round so talking about the preparation strategy and what are the topics need to be prepared to crack this exam so the best thing about this is there is no aptitude reasoning or english something something so on so they basically test your coding skills the coding skills are not that difficult here uh, if you have some uh, idea on hacker rank hacker rank based questions you going to do this you know it is simple for you you just need to practice some kind of questions on hacker rank so what are the topics that are required for this so observing the previous pattern the previous questions what i understood were there was the questions on arrays and strings so one question is basically on arrays and one question is basically on strings now in this arrays i could tell you that uh, it is all about matrix traversals how do you traverse a matrix in the spiral way or diagonal way or some other way they might tell you in any other way you should be able to have a idea on a uh, traversal of a matrix you have some questions on this topic on hacker rank you can just go there and you can solve those hands questions uh, ha- having a uh, practice on that question will simply give you the job you need not worry about this there will be a problem statement that makes you uh, somewhat confused it's not that difficult or confusing you can easily do it but the thing is you need to do some questions on matrix traversals for me at least i have observed the two patterns the two patterns question was all about matrix traversals it is not direct question but somehow it is about that and you should also be able to think of boundary cases uh, that is what most important in this arrays question so whenever there was a matrix or traversal kind of questions you basically forget the boundary cases like where when you are hitting the end when you are hitting the left left to top right top or bottom right such questions such things has to be remembered while you are answering that questions so this will be like simple if and else statements you can use them and you can handle those questions at uh, those cases that is all about uh, arrays question as strings it is very easy question uh, you can easily do it uh, it is not that about uh, algorithms like kmp algorithm robin karp algorithm not, not like that this for simple questions you can easily do that and the constraints were also very simple that you need not worry about this anything those were very simple questions uh, you can do it there won't be any clearly or something like that you can do it basically so that is about round there is nothing like aptitude or reasoning that is the best point so once you complete this round and complete the hr round uh, this job is yours so as i mentioned the topics to be prepared let us talk about the company review now so the review about this company is wonderful you know why the role is full stack developer which is trending today so i recommend this job for you uh, talking about the sta- salary here the salary is fixed uh, there is 3.6 lakhs per annum uh, that is fixed and you also get a 50000 as bonus once you complete your first year Now 3.62 plus 50,000 is approximately like 3.92. So your package for this company is 3.92. Uh, that is best, and for a fresher it is really good. Uh, this is not like uh, why I was telling it is a very good company because you will get to work with product-based companies as well as service-based companies. So people who uh, were trained by this company or were also worked at Zomato. So working at Zomato is not that simple, yeah. you also need to have data structures and algorithms competitive programming etc in order to get into companies like dematto or swiggy like product based companies but here you get to work with them work with this companies even without dsa skills right so they will be training you on the development part instead of coding part not much about coding not not like that they will be doing you will be doing hands on coding 
the training is very rigorous and you also need to give your full amount of time don't don't accept any passive incomes or partial works during this training the training period is only for about 3 to 4 months you will be able to dedicate yourself for this training so once you complete your training you will be deployed at their clients like zomato or some other companies you can check it out in their offer letter i got in my offer letter yeah yes uh, that is about this company now if you can uh, if you are 2021 pass out or some other batches watching in future can apply at any point of time i will be providing the link in the description box below so if you need any other questions or any other doubts do if you how you can post in the comment section below or you can directly contact me on my instagram or you can also connect with me on linkedin thank you so much for watching this video do not forget to share it with your friends thank you